It's your girl Kendra and today I'm going to show you how to make a corkscrew stitch like this one. And this is basically a corkscrew. It's basically like the super wall brick but instead of bringing your strings across you have to bring them diagonal in order for you to get this diagonal look right here. First what you need is four pieces of random gimp like so. Just four random pieces. Take three out of those four and find the centers of the gimps. So when you do that, when you fold your circles over your fingers, you do it like so. Next, take, don't pay attention to the noise in the background, but <clears throat> now that you have all your gimps circled around, around your finger, you're going to take each one and wrap them around your finger so you could get two loops and that will create six loops on your finger. So like I said, you should have six loops on your finger. Make sure all your strings are straight and not crisscrossed around each other because if they are crisscrossed, your strands are not going to come out as perfect as you want them to be. Sorry if the camera focus is a little, little blurry right now, but it's like you have to stay still with these cameras so it can catch the video glimpse. Next, my strand that I don't have that's not part of the circle loop. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it through all the strands. Okay, so now that that's out the way, I'm gonna find the center of this one that I just put through all six loops like so make sure your strings are tight too because you don't want loose strings so this is what you should have right now next since my closest strand is on my left side and my farthest strand is on my right side it really doesn't matter which side you do to me just basically as long as you could do the over under and over under roll so make sure your strings are straight I crisscross, take your left strand and go over the first one, under the second one, and do the same thing as a repetition repeat. Do the same thing with the right side. So far you should get something like this, basically. Now what I do for my trick is I like to pull them tight. So I'm going to pull all of these together. And I'm going to slowly but surely take this off my finger. So far they should all look like this now if you guys can see the camera but after pulling all the strands together this is what you should come up with <laughs> like that this what all of you as soon as the camera focus I will show you guys what you're supposed to come up with supposed to come up with this like so and make sure it is tight 
and perfect so you could do your cross stitch like so now that after we pulled all the strands together like so make sure these are all pulled and next I'm going to start off the cross stitch so like I said instead of bringing them forward you're going to bring them diagonally so then I'm going to take my left strand as always and take it under the left strand that we just brought down so far it should look like this and take the other side which is the right strand and bring it under the right strand that we brought up to the left and pull until you get it so this is how it should look like and do the same thing with the left the yellow Make sure you pull them tight. And you should get something like this. Just keep doing the same steps that I showed you. And trust me, by the time you get to like the third part, you should start seeing results. That it is a twisty curve. And it's going to wind up looking like this one right here. I'm glad that you enjoyed watching me showing you how to do the corkscrew stitch and showing you how to start it off and how to do the stitches. And I hope that when you finish creating this stitch that it will come out the way how you would want it to come out and how this would come out. So I'm glad you enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think of these videos. Bye!